I do not hunt for the joy of killing, but for the joy of living, and the inexpressible pleasure of mingling my life, however briefly, with that of a living creature that I respect, admire, and value. When one season draws to an end, the next one begins. We spend all year planning, scouting, checking trail cameras, hanging new stands, looking for new areas, practicing our shooting, attending group therapy, honing our skills for that one moment. All right, guys, it is opening morning here statewide in Pennsylvania. It's finally starting. Archery season is here. So I'm going to get all dressed up and uh, get into the stand. Just, uh, just got back to the property here. So, I want to check out this spot that, uh, I know nobody really hunts. So, there's a really big deer trail that cuts down this hill here. As soon as I find it, I'll show it to you. I think it says here. Yeah, it's right here. So obviously, that, that's a major deer trail uh, leading down to the swamp. And there is a beech nut tree here, and a walnut tree, a hickory tree. There's oaks up here. There's all kinds of uh, food along with the corn. So I'm gonna, my plan is, I'm gonna find a place in here to sit on the ground tonight. Since we have a northwest wind, um, I want to get down in here and find somewhere to sit along the edge of the swamp because I know for a fact nobody else comes in here. So I'm going to try to get down to the swamp. Um, it's been very, very dry. So I'm kind of hoping there's going to be some tracks out here.
else around here though, the wind's still blowing pretty good. I think it would be awesome to come in here and do a little archery shoot with the bow. That's what's cool. Alright, well, our hunt is cut short for tonight. My dad just texted me that, uh, that he got one. <laughs> on the back property back here where we were Thursday night and uh, he wasn't in the exact same tree as us but he said he was back there he said he hit one so he called me at 550 Buck was on his feet at 550 so let's go make some magic happen and find this deer found fletching came off <laughs> fletching my arrow did you find it? there? no I found a fletching. Maybe it came off when it hit him. Okay. That tree there. That tree? That tree there. Yeah. Right here. That's where you shot him? Yeah. Which way did he go? Well, he was, he was right there when I bought a wood broadside out. He came caught me off guard. And then when in here, I went. Yeah. Oh, me. Up there. That's the way he ran. He ran that way. That way. No crashing? Okay. No arrow. Here's the clutch. Well, it made it to him. That's what I'm getting at. If he was standing here, it made it here. I know. That window. That window is very small. I'm aware. fletching. So I'm gonna just keep looking for the arrow. My dad's out body searching. Uh, just trying to come across some drops of blood. So I'm gonna just keep at it. Sooner or later I'm gonna find this thing. If it's here. And who knows, I mean he could have hit a, a branch and that thing went flying and who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Oh, I might keep at it. All right, well, obviously we're back in the truck. Uh, it's going on eight o'clock right now. Um, I spent an hour and a half on my hands and knees in there trying to find hair, blood, the arrow, nothing. All we had was a very clean um, fletching. I mean, we two hours of looking for a sign of blood and we're planning on probably coming out tomorrow and doing a body search. Um, you gotta give it your all with this stuff. Obviously, you know, hey, I wasn't there when it happened. I don't know what all went down. Um, it's very easy to go and hit a twig or something, and that fletching could have gotten knocked off, and that arrow got sent somewhere else. I mean, who knows? That's That stuff happens, like, in a blink. Unfortunately, it happens so, so fast. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Keep track of what's going on with the deer vlog. Um, and this is only episode three, guys. So, not the not the start I was hoping for for opening day, but nobody's perfect. So, um, it is what it is at this point. I'm I'm ninety percent sure that deer was not hit. When there's no hair, no blood, no nothing. Um, 
there's no there's no evidence of that deer ever being hit. Um, I've never not found hair from a hit. Like you always find something. So um, I'm gonna sign off. Thank you guys, and um, I will see you on the next episode.